Midterm defense of final year project of civil engineering. In, in designing a beam, we have uh, taken a uh, rectangle, rectangle shape beam uh, in X direction. It is uh, f of the beam is 250 mm and uh, in width is 250 mm in X direction and as well as in Y direction. Uh, it is uh, 400 mm and uh, 250 mm in Y direction. Uh, in the uh, building we are going to analyze it is uh, having a type of piston case, doublet piston case. And the uh, fourth floor height is uh, basically 10 feet, which is converted by converted, it is 3.04 meter. Uh, the grade of concrete which we have used in this building is M800 and steel is F E500. This is the basic ground floor of the plant where we are going to analyze the seismic analysis. Total area is 680 square feet and area of is 96.5 square feet. And the staircase and net area is uh, 200. And first and second floor of this our building uh, area cover is uh, 650.22 square feet. Area of service is 222. Similarly, these are the um, area of pilot and offices, of offices. Uh, uh, This is the plan and this is the cross section of our building plan. Objective of our project is to analyze the building manually using expert analysis method. We have used uh, ETF version 16 for the analysis of the building. And to design the structural component of the building is our main objective and to handle with the building design process. To compare the result from manual calculation and ETF analysis, uh, these are some of the objectives. And for the, for the continuation of our project, uh, this project I would like to do a project for the continuation of our project. Abhishek Chadhari, 0172. <laughs>
concludes, which is the length of the span of the effective rate is the uh, sorry uh, length of the uh, ten length by ten span of the ten to the ten uh, span of the fifteen. Here we designing for adaptive uh, span of the fifteen. So uh, for the fifteen designing we calculate the effectively uh, depth and width. So the width is the uh, overall depth by two and the uh, overall depth is here we add up the overall depth by two. In such way we uh, we we obtain the width of the bead is 230 mm and the uh, overall bead is 240 mm for the lateral distance uh, also have the x directions and the next is the in y directions also have the spiral distance or shortage distance which is the width of the 230 mm and the overall bead is the 40 mm. So, uh, so here the primitive design of the model. So first of all, uh, first of all, uh, in our plan, we select a critical group. Generally, at the column uh, which covers the maximum area, we have to change the mean maximum area. Maximum load is acted. So uh, we uh, selected the critical column and then we uh, finding the area of the slab. Uh, area of slab is calculated. This also we have uh, in here in the C, C6 is the critical column. So uh, uh, in, uh, in critical column, half portion of this slab, uh, reticular portion, this slab area is calculated. Then uh, uh, also calculate the uh, gate load acting on this critical column, which has the slab weight, beam weight, flow finishing, partition wall, and column itself weight. Uh, Another the high flow uh, is taking light load at the 4 kilometer per meter according to 18. Uh, the S75 part 2 and the 1987 revision and, and the multiple slab then uh, calculated the light load is multiplied by the slab area and the reduction by the 9 percent for each floor. In our know, case, uh, each floor up to the 40 percent would have a reduction with the uh, 10 percent according uh, to the board. So, uh, after finding the dead load and the light load, we have to solve all this. We have to calculate uh, the solve of this. So, adding these two, adding all roads, so we, we can have some of the load. Then, uh, According to highest score for, for the 50 sites and 2000, uh, just number 49.3, we calculate the gross area. This is the formula we can see the treatment for the treatment of the FCTAC, or the FCTAC practice distance, as in the population distance, as in the ASC with the steel distance, and the uh, 0.76 is the formula this is the, which is taken from the board IS 456 2000. In our building size of the column, we have to calculate it as the 350 mm and 350 mm. And for the further uh, description of this presentation, I am like my friend Good morning. 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 The load is actually concentrated at a single point during long mass calculation. And for lumping of the mass, we have calculated the dead load of all components and added it with live load. The live load uh, is taken 25% uh, of the live load or uh, live load 3 kN or less and uh, above 3 kN we have taken 50% of the load. Uh, Long mass of each component is calculated such as uh, wall, volume, beam, considering the finishing uh, and after that all of these long load are added to get our long mass. In next slide uh, we have uh, get the table for the calculation of the long mass where we have shown the flow wise dumping of mass we have calculated slab, beam, column, wall and staircase long mass is separately. And after that, we have added this to give the total load. The figure has to the long, uh, long mass. And this is the calculation of the base shear. Uh, what is base shear? Base shear is, is the maximum shear which can occur as the base of the structure uh, by this shear uh, and this field activity. Uh, we have uh, calculated the base shear for this floor and the sum of this is the base shear. The uh, other is the uh, height of the building from the ground, uh, uh, double height is the long load which are, which are calculated here and uh, uh, multiplying the long load and the uh, uh, square of the height we get the base here. Then we have also calculated the uh, detailed design of the staircase. Uh, the effective uh, length of our staircase is 4.5 meter. Uh, for the design of this staircase, first of all, we have calculated the dead load uh, of landing and flight portion, uh, dead load of uh, flight uh, portion 
that is under the state section and infant section both we have diabetes separately and added them uh, size of the riser in our case is 169 mm which is adopted from dividing flow rise by number of riser uh, depth of the old strap is taken as 200 mm and size of the tread is taken as 300 mm light load on the staircase is taken from uh, poor ISA center part to 40 meter per meter strap and finding the UDL throughout the span and calculating the moment and after that we have calculated the overall depth of the slab as 60 mm and we have provided 60 mm bar at the rate 150 mm center to center uh, for main bar and provided 80 mm bar for two, at the rate 250 mm center to center for calculator in motion. And we have modeled the building in tabs, but our analysis is not completed. Uh, also, we have uh, we are going through the detailed design of the slab, which is not completed, so I have not kept it there. Uh, and after that, we are uh, going to calculate detailed design of slab and pool room and beam. After that, we have to detail. Uh, Thank you for watching. So the detailing of the reinforcement in our get is very. Good.